It was another pole for Alonso in the wet, but the three Germans behind wanted a good home result. Hamilton started his 100th Grand Prix 7th and hoped to get the most out of the McLaren. The Lotus struggled when it counted in the wet, while Kobayashi was the highest placed starter on medium tyres. The heavy rain came at the wrong time for Massa and left him with plenty of work to do. Perez was penalised for blocking Raikkonen and Alonso in Q2. While Weber, Grosjean and Rosberg all had penalties for replacing their gearboxes. It had been a rocky weekend, but Red Bull pushed the engine mapping debate aside and focused on the race. Verne was slow to get away in the midfield, but it was his teammate Ricardo who sent Massa's front wing flying off in the wrong direction. Alonso went unchallenged, Schumacher made his presence known behind Vettel and Button made a move on Maldonado. While Massa was forced to complete the lap without his front wing. Schumacher harried Vettel. But he didn't quite have enough speed to go around the outside. A run-in between Senna and Grosjean ensured there would be plenty of first-lap pit lane action. OK, mate, it's going to be a longish stop. It will be a longish stop. We've got medium tyre to keep the rear wing Nolder on the car. Careful into the braking, careful into the braking. McLaren are pretty much out of the way. Careful, careful. Watch the white line as well. on and Senna just stopping now. Grosjean would rejoin, albeit with a damaged floor, while the encounter left Bruno with a left front puncture. The lengthy delay left him in last place. Back at the front and things had settled down. Alonso led, Schumacher had dropped back from Vettel, Button closed on Hulkenberg. While Raikkonen and Hamilton tried to dodge the debris. Kimi lost out to De Resta, but Lewis came off much worse. I've got a problem. I've got a problem with flat tyre. It's boxer slap, we have a puncture, we have a puncture. That's it guys. There's a long way to go in this race yet, long way to go in this race yet. I can barely get back, Andy. He made it back to the pits. <laughs> but he'd lost a lot of time and wasn't in for an easy afternoon. By lap 11, Button had dispensed with Hulkenberg now he needed to cast Schumacher aside if he was to keep the leaders in sight. <laughs> Lap 17, Schumacher had fresher tyres than Raikkonen, but Kimi was quicker and closed the gap. It was a lively battle between the former Ferrari drivers. But Kimi soon took the place. Lewis hadn't made up much ground and on lap 31 he made his second visit to the pits from 18th. The stop left him a lap down. But on track, he was right amongst the leaders. OK, Lewis, we can either try and attack the leaders and try and get past them, or we, we're going to have to try and let Jensen pass them. Several seconds behind me. 
Lewis, there's no harm in driving as fast as you can. Let's try and get past these guys. There was only one option for Lewis. And it wasn't going to please Vettel. Hamilton is a lap down. Hamilton, a lap down. I need to toggle curse. Toggle curse. We can't use high energy. Kidding me? We're aware, Sebastian. We're aware. Kobayashi's long first stint on medium tyres had worked well. He passed his teammate for fifth. The second round of stops were well underway. OK, Jensen, Vettel and Alonso are pitting. You'll be racing them at the exit. You will be racing. You will be racing them at the exit. Ferrari didn't let Alonso down. But McLaren had turned button round very quickly a lap before, and with a pacey outlap, he took second place from Vettel. and set about challenging the Ferrari. Superb, Jensen, absolutely brilliant. Let's have Alonso. The earlier puncture had damaged the rear of Hamilton's car and finally brought his 100th Grand Prix to a conclusion. Alonso made his way through the traffic with Button hot on his heels. However, by closing the gap to Fernando, Jensen's tyres had paid the price. Before long, Vettel was in with a shout. Sebastian just had to bide his time and second would be there for the taking. He pushed to the limit. And beyond. Did he not just pass me off the circuit? Sebastian passed me off the circuit. Yes, gentlemen, the FIA are aware. Back on track, Alonso had been superb, despite immense pressure from behind. He put his car on pole in the wet and won the race in the dry to take his 30th career victory. Ferrari looked to be in big trouble in Melbourne, and now Fernando was the first driver to take three wins in 2012. So was it down to the car or the driver? Well, I think it's a combination of both, uh, a lot of motivation, a lot of uh, uh, angry feeling uh, in the team after Australia, uh, seeing that we were 1.6 seconds off the pace and uh, no one in Ferrari like this, because uh, this is a team that is used to, to win championships, to win races, so uh, everybody wanted a very strong reaction, so they worked day and night to to, to have new pieces every race and uh, they are working fine, so this is thanks to the team. And also, as I said on Thursday, I, I'm extremely proud of uh, myself also, not, uh, not easy races like this weekend. I think today with a lot of pressure, it was very easy to do mistakes, and more yesterday, uh, because the conditions were very extreme, and uh, if you start at the back, your race is very complex. So the pole position of yesterday, I think, was 80% of today's success. Vettel's controversial overtake of Button was still up for debate after the race. It didn't, it didn't make my life easy. The stewards decided that the Red Bull had gained an advantage by leaving the track and was handed a drive-through penalty after the race. The 20 seconds added demoted him to fifth. The revised classification meant that Raikkonen was declared third ahead of Kobayashi. Perez rounded off a good day for Sauber in sixth. 
Schumacher was disappointed to drop back to seventh, although he did set the fastest lap of the race. The rush was on to get to Hungary for round 11 the following weekend. The win gave Alonso some much-needed breathing space from Weber. Raikkonen's consistency meant he climbed to fourth, while Kobayashi joined his teammate in the top ten. Red Bull couldn't afford to relax just yet. McLaren went back ahead of Lotus, but this was the eighth consecutive race without points for Toro Rosso.